Danny, the second letter in our difficult alphabet is the letter F. Uh-huh. What do we do with this one? The very same thing we did in learning how to pronounce the letter B. What's that? Substituting another sound. It's just as simple as that. Now, remember, you concentrate on one sound while you say another. I remember that. What do we do this time? Well, instead of saying F, we'll use the TH sound, like in the word the or they. You know, uh, say the, the. The? Oh, you mean instead of saying F, I'll say uh, F. Like E-T-H, like that? That's it, F. Not F, but F. <laughs> Sounds like you got a lisp, doesn't it? Yes, I mean, yes. But that's the way we do it, Danny. We say F, E-T-H, instead of F. Now, you'll notice you can say F without moving your lips, but to say F, you see? You see, you have to move them. Now, hold your mouth again in the same position I taught you at the very beginning of this record. Okay, yeah, I got it. Teeth together, not too tightly. Lips slightly parted. The tongue loose in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Now, think of the letter F, but say F, like E-T-H, F. Okay, here I go. Uh, uh, F. Hey, that's not bad. Not good. You moved your mouth. Oh, sorry. Come on. Back to the mirror you go. Okay. Now, look in the mirror, Danny. You're going to say F. That's as if it were E-T-H. Say it. F. Mm -hmm. Instead of F. Now, here's a sentence for you. If good fortune follows a fellow, he's fine. Oh, that sounds like a tough one. No, it's not so hard. Try it. Now, remember, E-T-H instead of F. Okay, let's see. I look in the mirror. Hold my mouth in the right position. Here I go. If good fortune follows a fellow, he's fine. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But just because this letter is a little easier than B, don't get overconfident. No, I won't. It also needs a lot of practice to make sure that your lips don't slip. All right. Mm -hmm. Now try it again. The sentence is, if good fortune follows a fellow, he's fine. Okay. If good fortune follows a fellow, he's fine. If good fortune follows a fellow, he's fine. Well, it's coming along. All right. Now, this again needs more practice. Another 20 minutes or so on this letter, and then we'll go on to the next one. Okay. If good fortune follows a fellow, he's fine. Come on now, student. It's up to you. Practice along with Danny. If good fortune follows a fellow, he's fine. If good fortune follows a fellow, he's fine. If good fortune follows a fellow, he's fine.